I'm in the wild now. Searching for some. <gasps> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The rare Canadian soldier zombie. In its natural habitat. Undisturbed. By mankind. I'm going to move up to get a closer look. You can see it staring into the distance. Probably wondering where it will get its next meal. I've spotted a green. Oh no. Seems to be a family here. Oh, there's a third one. This is getting a little dangerous, but I must get closer to study them. Oh. He's looking this way. Must approach slowly. So my position is not compromised. They seem to have built up a shelter here by this crashed helicopter. Probably where they spawn from. I'm going to see if I can get a sample from one of these zombies. My stealth skills are too good. They're not able to detect me. Oh god, I got spotted. Go round, go round. Recoil. Would you look at that? I am stealing the spoils of the family that once occupied this structure. Now that my mission is complete, I will turn back to Hunter's HQ. What's up guys, Chris is Stealth here with the uh, Unturned Base. Base Showcase. Un unfinished Base Showcase, because uh, I just kind of wanted to show it off, because tomorrow... Uh, update 3.0 comes out and uh, basically rendering my save data useless because I won't be able to play on it, but that's okay. I don't mind starting over. So, uh, here we go. It's gonna actually, I don't know. Get some more XP, cause why not? Head into this farm to see if I can get. Excuse me. Oh, nice. The bag. Okay, I'm just gonna run over to the car and we're gonna go to the base, which is down at uh, Wilshire Farm. It is, in my opinion, the best location for the base. And I'll show you why when we get there. My car. Your car is over here. Nick should have been on, but he's not on right now. I don't know why. That's okay. We can still do the base tour without Harry and Nick. This was base was built by <coughs> Harry and Nick, but or Harry, me and Nick. But I mostly did the building. Nick gathered some trees and some around Harry gathered a bunch of supplies, but I was the main architect because they kept dying because they're the noobs at this game. The only time I actually died was when uh, Harry ran me over. Because he's a... That's, that's, that's him. This is the definition of Harry. He will kill you. It's not a matter of how, it is a matter of when. So here we are the gate of the base. And there seems to be a lot of zombies here. <coughs> Jesus. Who's that other zombie? <coughs> Get out of here. So uh, this is the gate to the base. So basically what you do is you drive in. And then you won't be able to get through here, or won't be able to open this, but someone will be right here. So they'll come in. It's like a customs. They ask you questions. Like, uh, what are you going to be doing in here? What are you carrying and stuff? 
And if it all checks out, they'll open the door for you. Here's a little speed bump, and welcome to the unfinished base. Yeah. So, uh, see some finished over there, but, uh, let's just quickly look over here. This is the, uh, kind of the watch area to oversee immigration to the safe haven that is the base. Uh, yeah, there's a couple work lights that don't have generators, because we found a lot of, uh, generators, or a lot of work lights, but no generators. So here's the, the perimeter wall. There's a couple of cars. This is this is kind of a little parking spot. Back here is a little parking spot. Over here, kind of didn't really we didn't really plan that, so it just kind of happened. So here, this is my house. Before this wall was put up in that gate, th this was all that was here. This house, and we're surrounded by barbed wire. We took it down because Harry and Nick kept dying when they spawned and stuff. Um, right there, that was going to be a watchtower, and then. Nick and Harry's house are going to be somewhere here, but that's not going to happen. Here's our farm. Another Humvee. This is my little shield. Don't get shot as I'm picking up the morning paper, you know? You don't want to get shot. So here's my garage with my private car in it that they can't get to. So uh, here's my ammunition chest. Couple of stuff in here. Actually, let's, uh, let's throw in what I have right here. Oh, that. Trace bullets, tracer bullets. Here's our medical. Yeah, we're gonna put these blood bags in. Uh, do we have anything else now? Oh yeah, this is my uh, medical chest. Here's my weapon crates. That's my best weapon. So this is where my maple strike would go. As you can see, my maple strike here. Suppressor, 12 times scope, and a uh, drum mags. Two drum mags actually. Here's another. Here's my timber wolf over here. A couple PDW mags. My maple strikes, my Swiss skewer, another timber wall, Philippua mag. Here's my Pro 90. Pressed with a vertical grip and a holographic. I don't have my. Oh, yeah, I actually have a PDW mag with me. Let's, let's just fire it off just to show you. It's really fast. Pretty easy to control with that when you have a vertical grip and have upgraded your um, weapon skills. And over here, other stuff, more magazines. I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna put Eddie back. Here's Nick's chest. He's got a couple of medical stuff and ammo and things. They can't open my chest because I had built it before they joined the Steam group. So they uh, they can't open my chest, but I can open theirs. Actually, I can't open Harry's, but I can open Nick's. So Nick gets screwed over. Here's my just random stuff. Got a shotgun in there. There's a shield. So I should put the shield in. Yay. Here's my can and rock splits. I have rock splits more. Actually, let's make a let's make a landmine here. There we go. Oh, actually, I, th I thought it took three. Guess not. We're gonna add another one to the collection. Frag grenade. Over here we got four mobs. Shotgun, electric trap, smoke grenade, bunch of magazines, Uzi, Matamoras. I don't. I think that's how you pronounce it. A couple more magazines and a thing. This is also the main sleeping area where me and Harriet put down our stuff. Then up here is our lookout area where you would shoot at zombies and stuff, you know. And here's Harry's chest and his bed, and then actually Nick sleeps down here with me because uh, Nick knows where it's at. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that is that house, and I'm just gonna quickly show you that we were starting to. Uh, also with the wall, put barbed wire behind it so that uh, zombies can just run into the wall and start breaking it because we we've had like problems where the zombies would just run at the wall and break it. We wouldn't know, and then by the time it was already too late, they'd broken like two walls and a freaking foundation. So we started uh, lining the thing with barbed wire here. See, so they uh, hit the barbed wire instead and die. Uh, the bar bars to keep zombies out, the stone walls to keep players out. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't know why I'm looting the barn, but it doesn't really matter because this day will be uh, useless uh, tomorrow. So here's more barbed wire, and then we're back at the front of the gate the place. And then uh, I'm just going to quickly now uh, show you. You can toggle. I, I just figured this out like two days ago, but uh, you can toggle night vision on and off by pressing N. It's a handy dandy little thing to have. And uh, just real quickly, I'm going to show you the bridge I made to the island that has the, um... 
uh, has the underground bunker on it. Just real quick. It's took a this bridge didn't take very long to make. This base took a long time to make. Like six or seven hours of man work. We're not even done. I haven't put the tower in. We haven't built Harry or Nick's house. But so yeah, here's the base. Here's the little bunker. If no one's seen it before, there's a little house here. There's also a zombie here, there's a couple crates that you can go in, but this is the real bang of the whole thing. A little bunker down here. See it's got it's got pretty it's got decent loot. One shield. Oh god. Oh die. Die, jeez. Okay. And then over here, oh there's uh some adrenaline, I don't care. There's a bonjour mag. Here's a Ammo, cloth. Let's get okay loot down here. Well, here's an item mag, or an extreme mag. Bunch of clothes, morphine, Yuri mag. I don't know why I'm picking it up. It's pointless, but that's okay. So yeah, that is. I'll show you when we get up to the top here. That is down here in Holman Island at the bottom corner of the map. Uh, yeah. So uh, and also, that's where the farm is. So now I'm just going to quickly talk about why I personally think uh, the Shire Farm is the, uh, the prime location for the base. The number one reason I think is there is a um, stable source of water here because a lot of places you can't, you don't really have access to water, even though I know you can just go pull it up in the ocean, but that just isn't very legit. So. Uh, here, uh, I'm just gonna drive over it. There's a well, well right here, where you could, uh, if you have a canteen, like this is, canteen is the most important thing to have. You can quickly refill your water like this. Just click on it and then drink away. But then it also it has fertile land, it makes your crops grow faster, and uh, that's reason number two. Number number three is it has a gas tank here, so you can always fill your vehicles up with gas and stuff. You don't have to worry about that. And number four reason is there's like five or six zombies that spawn here every time you log into the server, so it's not a big deal with ha like handling them. You know? So yeah. That's why I'd like this place. And that's why I'm going to build the next base on the 3.0 server. Or the 3.0 update. I'm going to put it over here. So it's all nice. Oh, no. I have uh, stan accidentally stepped on the wooden spikes and almost died. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, putting the bandage, bandaging myself. So this is really matter. So anyways, guys, um, actually I'm gonna go right after this to um, recording something else. I don't know. It'll either be something with The Sims or Skyrim. So yeah, see you guys later.